being arrested. Perhaps he had not heard it before. And uh, now there's been much passing of notes back and forth. Thank you. West Virginia passes. There at West Virginia in the roll call of states. Here's West Virginia. I rise with a voice that has become hoarse in the exercise of democracy. I rise on behalf of the state of Wisconsin to offer a name in nomination. Well, well, uh, is, the, is the chairman of the Wisconsin delegation addressing the chair? The vice chairman of the delegation on behalf of our delegation at the request of my chairman, whose voice is even more hoarse tonight than mine. Well, would the, would the, uh, does the delegate desire to appear at the podium or to make the nomination from, from his uh, stand? Mr. Chairman, I appreciate your courtesy, but we of Wisconsin have stood with the people throughout this convention. We would just as soon be on the floor now. The delegate is, the delegate is recognized for the purpose of, of making a nomination for the office of vice president. Thank you very kindly, Mr. Chairman, and I apologize for my laryngitis. Wisconsin has been at the Mr. lead Chairman, of the McCarthy Group we of convention. Wisconsin, as Democrats who are interested not only in what the party is, but in what the party is to become, if it will truly live up to the promise of the movie that we saw on that screen tonight, if it will truly lead up to the inspirational promise that Senators McCarthy and McGovern have given to this convention in this country. If it will truly make the American dream a reality, not only for affluent delegates, but for the young people who march in the parks looking for quality in life. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I think that I'm going to surprise some of the people here tonight because there's a disease known as microphonitis. And I could talk on for a half an hour about the man that we are going to put in nomination, but I think our positions are by this time eminently clear to this convention and to the American people. So I will say as simply and as sincerely on behalf of my delegation that we wish to offer in nomination the wave of the future. It may be a symbolic nomination tonight, but it may not be symbolic four years hence. We offer a nomination with the greatest pleasure, the name of Julian Bond. Julian Bond is the 27-year-old uh, legislator from Georgia, head of a, a delegation that succeeded in being seated with the Maddox delegation here. Dan Rather's with him. Dan? Julian Bond has been conferring with Chairman Bailey. Uh, Mr. Bond, he'll talk to us. Uh, Dan? Bond, uh, how old are you? I'm 28. And uh, how old is the vice president uh, legally that he have to be by the Constitution? 35, I believe. So it isn't likely that you're going to be uh, a serious vice president nominee. I don't know. This convention might mandate the Congress or request the Congress change the age by election time, and maybe I could make it. Well, you're saying that tongue in cheek. Now, what's at work here? Wisconsin has placed your name in nomination for what purpose? Well, I hope. I would hope it's because they think I'd make a good vice president. I think it's also to get an opportunity to address this body and through the medium of television, other people in the nation about some of the issues that are not being discussed here, which are? Which are poverty, racism, war. There really have not been a great deal of free discussion about them, I don't think. Now, how is this to be done? Well, it might be done through the nominating speeches. Uh, in now, fact, that, that would be the vehicle. Could you give us a bit of your background? Uh, the name Julian Bond, do uh, you think it's a household word? No, 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 it's barely a household word in my own house. I'm not there very often. What is your background? Well, I'm a 
former newspaper man. I worked for the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee for six years. Uh, presently running for re-election to my second term in the Georgia legislature. I've got four kids, a lovely wife. And you're a delegate to this convention. And a delegate to this convention. Uh, you and Chairman Bailey were talking about what? On, uh, we're talking about another matter not related to this. Right. Now, do you plan to address the convention yourself? Uh, is that the procedure for a vice presidential nominee? Uh, not normally, but this hasn't been a normal convention. Well, if it's possible, I, I believe I'd like to. And where are you headed now? I'm going Great. back to the Georgia delegation. Uh, it was Dick Goodwin of the McCarthy forces who talked you into this, did he not? When no. I say talked you in, you were willing all along, weren't you? Well, he asked me if I was willing, and I said I would. This was after uh, Governor Hoff of uh, Vermont turned down uh, the opportunity to do this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Now, who else was involved besides Richard Goodman, uh, the former Kennedy speechwriter uh, who was working for the McCarthy well, Mr. forces? Well, Mr. Goodman is the only person I've talked to. Who else is involved in this movement? The Wisconsin delegation, place your name and nomination. What are the delegations? Um, I, we've had some talk, I believe, and this is, comes to me secondhand, uh, to people in the New York delegation, the California delegation, some of the other large delegations. Could you give us some of those names out of the California New York delegations? Mm, no, I don't remember their names. Any other delegations? Uh, to see if I might be elected vice president. I'd like to be vice president. Well, Walter uh, Julian Bond, the uh, young man whose name has just been placed in nomination, is hoping to address this convention, uh, specifically, as you heard him say, on uh, poverty, racism, and the war. What issues might those be? That It'll be interesting to see if he uh, gets permission to uh, address the convention. I think it would have to be by a suspension of the rules, perhaps, to do so. Julian Bond is from Morehouse College born in Nashville, Tennessee. That uh, Wisconsin vice chairman who you saw making the nomination of Julian Bond is Ted Warshawski. He's a 41-year-old Milwaukee lawyer. Uh, Wyoming moved that the Muskie nomination be by acclamation, but that motion was ruled out of order.